All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about how Leo Pirate is a complete snake. Let's be honest. Let's be honest in the audience and get the truth out there. What happens is Leo records a three hour conversation with me. I'm going to try and publish it. And this conversation, he didn't tell me he was recording. So we just, we know about halfway through that Leo's recording this conversation. So we feed Leo a fucking line. And you're going to hear how great this is. How great these stories are that I was feeding Leo. Leo the autistic, furry loving, afraid of Kiwi Farms degenerate. We're going to talk about Leo, we're going to talk about all of this. But you're going to hear the audio, you're going to hear the three hour audio. Because it's, it's just Kino, it's absolutely fantastic. And you can see that Leo is working this into an, uh, an autistic file. <laughs> so Leo Pirate, right? The man still hasn't gone over Gamergate. He's like 30 something. He, he's like doing a computer science degree because he didn't get it right the first time. Do you know what I mean? Who's doing a degree in their 30s? Who still hasn't got a job in their 30s? What a disgrace. He lives like uh, across the road from his parents. He uses Seventh Day Adventist Christianity as a cover for his own deep seated schizophrenia and mental illness. Leo's fully dropped from the show. PSA. Leo is fully dropped from This Week in Nectar. Mainly because Leo's a coward. We can forgive the snakery to a degree, right? But Leo gets in contact with Vordrak. Leo does the interview with Vordrak. Leo's contact with Vordrak is because Leo loves Vordrak and Vordrak loves Leo. <laughs> you know? So they have a 30 minute conversation before myself and PPP join to do this bullshit interview. We do the interview, right? And then Leo's panicking, aghast, breathless, saying, you know, he wants to scrub the interview of all his, of every time that Leo Pirate talks, I need to scrub the interview, God would say. And I'm just like, why don't we just upload it publicly? The truth is out there. You know, I, wh wh why are you so afraid of Kiwi Farms? Leo calls us up frequently over the past few weeks. <laughs> oh, ever since Jim, right? Let's just talk about Jim. Leo tells Jim, you know, I'm not going to talk. It's just you and PPP. I'm just going to stay silent. I'm just hosting the OBS hangout. And then Leo snakes on everyone and starts autistically telling Jim about Gamergate, making a fool of himself even more. If you type in Leo Pirate now on Google search, you know what the autocomplete is? Furry. <laughs> yeah, no. Straight after, right? He's calling us up crying. I'm not even joking. The guy's crying. Saying, I don't want to, I'm out, lads. I'm gone. This is it now. I don't want any more of this. I'm like, what? What's wrong with you? Oh, they're going to make a Kiwi Farms thread on me. They're going to make a Kiwi Farms thread on me, guys. I'm like, well, what have you got to heart? Like, what's, what's, what, what, are you a furry, Leo? What's going on there? And then he talks about this elaborate, like, oh, him and his girlfriend on Tumblr did some degenerate thing. I'm like, okay, all right. So, I mean, are, are you a degenerate, Leo? He goes radio silent. <laughs> He's dropped working on the video, the smoking gun new Project 2 video. It takes him two weeks to do that. You know, something that anybody, any chimp could do in seconds. Then Leo Wright, then he does something else that's autistic. I, can f I forget now, but he does something else where he publicly humiliates himself yet again. And he's calling me up yet again. Oh God, oh God, Adam, oh no. They're doing a Kiwi Farms thread on me. And I'm like, what? Why are you so bothered by this? They found a Steven Universe cosplay of me. And I'm like, right, well, that's pretty degenerate, Leo. What, <laughs> what else is there in the degeneracy archive, Leo? Why are you so afraid of them, like, going through your Tumblr? I don't understand. Why even have a Tumblr? What's the matter with you? Oh, this is it, guys. I'm out. Peace out. Peace out. It, I'm done. And the Vordrak thing was the last straw, right? The Vordrak thing was the last straw. Bear in mind, this guy has been nothing but cordial and civil. He gets me on a private call and starts recording the conversation. And you can hear in this interview, right, this three hour call that Leo records. You can hear that it's like, I, I'm feeding this guy a complete line. Leo thinks legitimately, this is Leo's thought process. Leo thinks if you are part of the something awful forums when you were 11 or 12, then you want to bring down Reddit. <laughs> he, he thinks, he thinks that somebody posting on Britpol under the name Black Adam in 2012, was me? 
B bit of deepest lore here. If you don't know how we acquired the Godwinson name, it's because Jahans wrote a fan fiction back in 2016 where he called me Black Adam of the Mul Black Adam Godwinson of the Multiverse. I was an amorphic cloud that came to like battle the Farshnook, his self-insert character. Autism personified. And then we just adopted the name. First of all, it was Black Adam of the Multiverse. Then it was Godwin Black Adam Godwinson of the Multiverse. Then it was Godwinson as the channels have been flagged and taken down. But Leo's worked out a, a grand conspiracy, right? Where I'm working with contrapoints and bread too. The guy is schizophrenic. <laughs> the guy is like a retard, just plain and simple. People have been telling me for, for centuries, right? You've got to drop Leo Adam. You've got to get rid of this guy. This guy's a fur fag. This guy's got like a degenerate past. This guy is like clearly fucked in the head. Clearly he can't like leave Gamergate behind. And I will testify that every conversation I've had with Leo has come back to Gamergate and how Gamergate was evil and how, and how video games are evil. This guy is like mentally unhinged. He uses Seventh Day Adventism as a cover for his own mental illness. Straight up, straight up. That's the truth, right? The only reason we kept the guy around was because he could use OBS. That is legit it. Everybody hates the guy. He's the butt of everybody's jokes. But there we go, that's by the by. So Leo has dropped for cowardice, just for cowardice, for self-inserting himself into everything that's been going on. And then the moment he feels, he perceives there to be any slight heat, he's crying on the phone saying, oh, I don't want a Kiwi farm thread, Adam. I can't do it. I can't do it. What, are you, what have you got to hide, man? What's the matter with you? Is there really a video of Leo fucking a dog out there? Straight up. Has Leo been fucking animals and posting them online? Posting the videos online? I, I, I just want to know, like, is this guy just a complete degenerate? Has this guy just lost his mind? Has this guy been a snake the entire time? You know? But no more shielding for Leo. Leo was shielding for Toad, Toad McJudas. By the way, Toad, if you're listening to this, which you should be, right? This guy has fed us everything. Absolutely everything. All of your private calls and DMs he's given us, like, a straightaway fucking feedback on. You know? Th this guy is, like, not your friend. <laughs> this guy is... I don't know. Maybe there's a fucking file on Toad as well as there is a file on myself and PPP on the Leo archives there. But Leo's making a video, apparently, where he's going to put all of this... All together, right? So I, I really look forward to this. I look forward to seeing that I was like an admin of Reddit. <laughs> and I've been working with Vouch and ContraPoints to go after Fuentes and New Project 2. This guy. So anyway, he tells me, oh, can you, can you scrub it every time I talk? Can you scrub the archive every time I talk, Godwinson? I, I, you know, I'm afraid of Vordrak. I'm afraid of the Kiwi Farms. I said, well, Vordrak's your friend. You've been talking to him and you're planning like a gay op with Vordrak. About, I mean, everyone heard that, right? Where he cut off the call uh, just as he was planning this gay op. So, I mean, I just said to him, like, why are you such a coward? Like, what's the matter with you? That you're a total coward. It's, but then he's perfectly happy to throw PPP under the bus and myself under the bus. This guy is like nearly double my age. <laughs> you know, the butt of everyone's joke has never had a victory on the internet ever and self inserts himself into all the drama. So I say, look, Leo, I'm going to upload the video unedited. Fuck this. I'm not even going to like cover for you. I'm not even going to edit out the pauses or the technical faults. Full Kino Dogma 2007. I owe it to my audience and I owe it to the people out there seeking the truth. To basically, you know, hear the unedited recording. We all spoke. I'm not going to scrub every time you spoke because you don't want a Kiwi Farms thread. I mean, there's something wrong with you where you're deeply unhinged about, about, like, about a Kiwi Farms thread going on, exposing your like Seventh Day Adventist church and your computer science degree and the fact that you're like a degenerate furry and you, you cosplay as Steven Universe characters every time you, you know, say it's a Sabbath day. We've dropped you completely. So I say, look, I'm going to upload this. I upload it. And you know what the guy says? The guy screenshots people in my chat as that video is premiering. And he's saying, 
Oh, look at this. This is Kekistan 3. I'm out, guys. It's Kekistan 3.0. I'm out, guys. I, what a coward. What a coward. Using any excuse, the man's only frame of reference is Gamergate and Kekistan. <laughs> you know? Holy fuck. But look, this is a public apology to everybody that said to me, Leo's a fag. Leo's a furry degenerate. You should drop Leo. I apologize to all of you because you were right. Leo is a fag. <laughs> Leo is a degenerate. Leo, Leo has a, a schizoid disorder where he thinks that because he's done some very degenerate things on the internet that people are going to look into that. People are going to look into what's going on there and put, piece it all together and work out that this man is fucking off the rails fucking degenerate. I've never seen anybody bitch and moan and cry so much about they're, they're coming after me, Adam. They're coming after me. Like, what, what's the matter with you? I said to him, like, if you, if you, look, if you don't want the heat, just disconnect. Just disconnect. Stop self-inserting yourself into other people's, like, battles and dramas. And try to, like, seek the glory there. You know, you just, just, just drop out. Just don't do it. Just, just, just walk away. It'll be better for your mental health, Leo. And then every time something good happens, every time we have some sort of momentum, he's there. Snaking in our DMs. Recording private calls. <laughs> but we fed Leo a great line. And he's bought it all. And he's been weaving it into an autistic tapestry. Uh, you're seeing at the moment, right? Uh, screenshots. Screenshots that uh, Leo put up in his own disc. Because Leo's got a Discord, by the way. Where he runs gay ops on everyone that slights him. Leo puts up uh, these screenshots here where he's saying, Godwinson's lying about editing the video recording. Well, what? What are you talking about? And then he realizes, as you can see in this screenshot here, that he himself is in the wrong. The guy is just in an autistic meltdown. The guy is gaslighting everyone. The guy is just completely off the walls fucking crazy. So his own words damn him, right? Him and Toad can carry on grifting, can carry on... You know, with this uh, Judas LARP that they do where they ingratiate themselves into people and, uh, and snake on them at the earliest opportunity or whenever, the, whenever they, well, let's talk about this properly, whenever Leo feels any heat on himself, he tries to throw everyone else under the bus. It's just not an honest way of going about things. I don't even believe that this guy is a Christian. I literally don't. I think this guy is like a schizophrenic autist. Like, I mean, he, he, he told me about his like cripple, crippling autism in the past, right? And we've just been silent and nodded sagely like, mm-hmm, okay. The guy doesn't even like see daylight. You know, the guy like lives on the internet, but we're supposed to believe that he's like a, a good upstanding honest guy that goes into the community and helps out his se fellow Seventh-day Adventists to see the light. What a LARP. What an absolute LARP. The guy threw himself into Seventh-day Adventist Christianity because he was such a pariah during Gamergate. You know? The guy has even worse optics than Ethan Ralph with regards to Gamergate. Like, I don't, I don't know anyone, right, where you type in their username and instantly the autocomplete is furry and instantly you've got results where this guy has just been a complete and total degenerate. But we forgave a lot of this stuff we genuinely did, because we thought, okay, we've got a third wheel, the guy can use OBS. Obviously, every time the guy talks on Twin, this reconnector, he just, everybody rolls their eyes and sighs and goes, what a fucking retard, what a brainlet. All of the audience are spamming in the chat every time Leo talks, please kick Leo, please kick Leo. So I want to apologise to those members of the audience, because I know when I'm wrong... It might take a long while to, to get to the point where I am wrong, but I was wrong with Leo. I made, the, I made the bad call with Leo. PPP told me all along that Leo was like a faggot. PPP's nickname for Leo is Leo the Bum Pirate. And every time he'd say it, I'd go, no, come on, it's Leo. It's Leo. Come on, we can forgive. Leo's fully dropped. It's over for Leo. Uh, look, I don't want anyone to, like, make a fucking Kiwi Farms thread on this guy, because obviously, like, he's in such a precarious mental state that I imagine he's now calling Toad, crying and walking around the fucking streets, as he used to do with me and PPP. I imagine he's doing that with Toad now because, oh, the heat's finally on him. So, I, look, Leo has dropped from this point onwards. There will be no mention of Leo unless he does something incredibly gay, which he likely will. And then we will fully nail Leo to the cross. Then Leo will, then Leo will become... 
directly in our crosshairs. But at this point, Leo has dropped. I felt I owe it to the audience to do this. Surfer in PPP and Video Game Snake, they told me on a voice call that... Because my gut instinct was to just lay in this, into this guy straight away after the Vordrap review. But they told me, like, have a few days... Take a, take a bit of time, let people come to their own conclusions and then speak your piece. Tell, tell everybody the truth. And the truth is, right, Leo's a degenerate furry, a crippling autist, who self-inserts himself into people's drama, who worked very closely with Milo, let's not forget, the pedo. There's something going on with Leo that I don't, I'm not even asked to even dig into. Do you know? Because I don't want to see a, a video of Leo fucking an animal. Like, I genuinely don't want to see this. You know, I, I genuinely don't want to have somebody that I've been associated with, like Leo Pirate, to just be, just confirm himself to be a complete degenerate. Just, just a total and complete degenerate. And there we go. That's the, that's the explanation for Leo. I felt I owed it to people. Just how much of a coward and snake this guy is. Um... I will clarify as well that he records this private conversation that we all know is being recorded pretty much just before the Vordrak interview. You know, so, I mean, I, I had no intentions of, like, throwing Leo under the bus. Leo's own actions have thrown him under the bus. Leo being a coward. Leo, like, harvesting dirt and construing them into a weird autistic narrative that just nobody will believe. <laughs> Leo has done this to himself. I apologise. I apologise to Ethan Ralph, who said, look, Leo's a faggot. Leo's been a faggot since Gamergate. I apologise to Ethan Ralph. I apologise to Gator for saying that Leo was better than Gator. Because for all of Gator's faults, and by no means I don't think we're going to be singing Come By R, but for all of Gator's faults, he's loyal. He's not a snake in the grass. And he's also not a degenerate. Like, Gator just seems fine to me. You know, apart from his actions where he sweeps it up for his lord and master, he's no Leo Pirate. He's not screeching and crying down the phone about getting a Kiwi Farms thread. This guy got me to bring in Video Game Snake onto a private call with him, so Video Game Snake could talk him down from the ledge and say, Leo, Leo, come on, it's just a Kiwi Farms thread, and it might not even happen anyway. Leo's, Leo's like this, <laughs> No, don't let the Kiwi Farms get... Everybody says that he's a furry. Even Jim says he's a furry. And at this point, like, I'm, I'm believing everybody now. At this point, I just want to apologise to all of the people that warned me away from Leo, warned him away from the show, said that Leo was an albatross on This Week in Nectar, said that he was self-inserting himself into drama, because the type of person I am, I genuinely do give people the benefit of the doubt. I thought Leo had a bad rep after his, like, associations with backyard blood sports and those white nationalists there and those degenerates that were part of fucking backyard blood sports. I thought he had a bad rap because of his associations with Zoom, his close ties to Vordrak and all of this shit. But I still forgave the guy anyway. Because that's the sort of person I am. Do you know what I mean? The guy can operate OBS. He's perfectly happy to do our show with us. We can suffer a few bad takes from Leo, publicly humiliating himself every time he speaks, just to get the show on the road, right? From now on, I think uh, we're getting in contact with Kraut or something. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> or Gahul. One of these two guys will probably host the stream. And, you know, they've got far more integrity. They've got far more, you know, less degenerate things going on in their past. That they're not going to be crying down the phone every time that we publish a show or every time that he self-inserts himself into drama and the heat gets onto him. They're not going to be doing that because Gahul and Kraut are fucking men and not posse faggots like Leo Pirate. Leo Pirate is, is considerably older than me in PPP and the guy just simply cannot take it. The guy just simply cannot take it. And if you want to look into the guy's mental state, look at those Discord screenshots and look at the fucking Steven Universe cosplay that the grown man fucking LARPs has. No one's made him do this. But look at this. Look, look at this guy. This guy is just a total degenerate. Just a total faggot. No man in their 30s should be LARPing as Steven Universe. You know? Holy fuck. Uh, but there we go. Done. Leo dropped. This week in Nectar, probably tonight, covering PPP's Black Lives Matter, PPP and Surfer's Black Lives Matter crusade. Absolutely great content coming ahead, and we're going to be covering it. It's going to be great. So stay tuned, watch the skies. Oh, people in the chat are saying that 
what do you think about New Project 2? Is it fully dead? Yeah, I think New Project 2 is completely dead. Um, I, I think Vordrek is just somebody you don't want to mess with. Um, my own thoughts on that interview were, I did the interview, I got out of there as soon as I could. I asked questions from a script, as everybody could see. Um, I felt personally that had because PPP like did a soft interview with Josh, that we sort of gave the other side of the story with Vordrak. It wasn't me that set up the Vordrak interview, it was Leo, you know. We helped Leo draft an email because he was afraid. But then Leo rewrote the email anyway and sent it because, you know, he, he, did, he wanted to scrub it. <laughs> Leo's catchphrase is, I want to scrub this. I need to scrub this of any involvement of me. Yet he's always there whenever there's any sort of drama to self-insert himself within. I think, yeah, it, if Josh is going for a, pay, a private payment processor, which is like, I do think is like a good idea, he can keep his pay piggies private. He's not going to have people just going after him like this. I think that's probably the best. Like, I personally don't want Kiwi Farms to go down. I don't really give a fuck about 9chan, but I don't want a Kiwi Farms to go down. It's a good resource. I actually quite like the site. Um, so, so there we go. There we go. Uh, in hindsight, probably it was an incredibly bad idea to do the Vordrak interview. Uh, but I felt, you know, people can make their own minds up when they're hearing Vordrak say a lot of these things. People can make their own minds up. Like, I, I, I think Vordrak pretty much speaks for himself and people can see that, you know, it, it's almost sort of like a Moby Dick obsession with Josh. People can see that and, and people can sort of take what they want from that. Um, so I think it's good to have that guy's side uh, and people can take their own uh, respective opinions of that. New Project 2 is dead. I don't think Dick Masterson's ever going to set up a new one. Jesse set up New Project 3. Uh, fucking pod awful. He set up the New Project 3, which is actually pretty base, let's be honest. Maybe maybe Toad McKinley and fucking Leo Pirate are going to jump on that now with their 26 pieces of silver. Because the thing is, we thought that Toad was the Judas. We thought that Toad was the Judas because Leo was telling us about his, you know, fucking dodgy friendship with Toad. Where they talk about sponsorships and memberships and Raid Shadow Legends and all of this shit. They talk about how Toad, you know, got dropped from his job to be on YouTube. You know what I mean? Just this crazy shit. Uh, and then we also hear now that Leo is a Judas. Leo is, a, Leo is probably more of a Judas than Toad ever was. So there are a pair of Judases, a pair of Judases. So Leo and Toad can sign up to new Project 3 there and give Jesse their social security numbers. Why not? That's the show. That's the lose alert. We're going to be back later on with a This Week Connector, probably Kraut or Kahul or whoever we can find to do the OBS. That's not a complete snake. That's not a complete faggot who's going to call us up after we've done the show crying that they're going to get a Kiwi Farm thread. Anyone out there who wants to host the show? By all means, get in contact. But I think it'd probably be Kraut and uh, and Gahul. Um, like I say, want to apologise to Ethan Ralph. Want to apologise to Jim. Want to apologise to Josh. Want to apologise to Gator. Want to apologise to all of these people that wild smile. And I especially want to apologise to Coach. All of these people that said Leo is a faggot. You need to drop Leo. He's a furry. He's a degenerate. I apologise. You have my firm apologies. Even Coach contacted me and said look, you need to feed, you need to cut Leo up and feed him into a wood chipper. You need to do this, Adam, because it's like, this guy is just a fucking, accumulating himself every time he talks. He's the butt of everyone's jokes and he's just dragging the show down. So I especially want to apologize to Coach. There we go. Peace out. Watch the skies. Juice.